We had no advisors believed to be good bankers because we pride ourselves of understanding the internet sector. What does that mean? Well, it means we try to understand why businesses are successful today and who is going to be successful tomorrow. And as part of that, we're looking at drivers. And yesterday we had a little bit the sessions around apps, the cool stuff, what's happening in advertising. Today we have the, the big sectors, travel, e-commerce, and one of the biggest sectors of the internet is a classified industry. And it's a fascinating industry. Why? Because the players which were big in the past are big today. We saw disruption happening, but really only from online to newspapers. And the online players, the ones who were strong in the past, are still strong. And it reminds me a lot of the yellow page industry in the 80s or 90s, where once you have a sales force, you have a brand, you have the user, you are the leader. And nobody will take this away from you. Little benchmark on numbers. In the yellow page industry, 30% roughly of the SMEs advertised, advertised online. Obviously there was a lot of churn and it's probably down to 20. The number of car dealers, real estate agents on these portals for cars and real estate on the internet in pretty much every country is around 98%. So everybody has to be on it. That's the way to do business. Now, we at NOAA, we know that of course, and the investors know that, but there's one factor which we are interested in and we haven't found data which is pricing. How expensive is pricing and where is it going? And that's the topic of this panel. So as a rule of thumb, a few years ago, around two thirds of the transaction leads got generated offline, uh, sorry, online, but online only got around 20%, 15% of the advertising market from the car dealers and real estate agents. Today, it's a little bit different. Probably 95% of the leads are coming online and around 40% of the value is online. So there's a mismatch of pricing here. And we looked at that in detail and we performed a little study. And maybe I have the presentation up, please, now. Very sophisticated, no? Only online classified pricing study. So we had a lot of motivation and enthusiasm and it all started with creating a list of who is out there. So here you have a matrix which I hope you can't read, <laughs> which is by country, by category, selected online and offline players. So we had a bit of help. Someone called around and called all of these companies and said, please send us your price lists. So we got all these price lists from a few players, some wouldn't send them, they would have meetings and they want to know why. So pricing is not transparent, lesson number one. So the few we got, we tried to aggregate and we, came, we tried to come to meaningful messages. Because our prejudice, and unfortunately it wasn't only a prejudice, it's true, is that pricing and classified is high in UK, Germany, France, it's very low in Spain and Italy. It's extremely high in the Nordic region, but it's extremely, extremely low in countries like Turkey, for example. So we have analyzed the data and we came to the conclusion that there's only one vertical where you actually can do a proper benchmarking, which is the recruiting segment. So here you have by country, for certain players, listing prices for an ad on a monthly basis. So it's ranging from around 450 to 800 euros for recruiting. We try to do the same thing in cars and real estate and it's impossible to do because they have discounts, they have consumer offerings, 
So we had uh, to give up, but we have some data points later. The online recruiting industry is probably the most advanced classified industry in terms of pricing. Here you have very, very high listing pricing. Now in real estate, in cars, we estimate the listing prices because we talk to our relationships and we know that listing prices for real estate is around 10 euros, 12 euros for the Western or for the big countries, the top three, UK, Germany, France. And for cars, it's a bit higher because the liquidity is also faster. It's probably more in the regions of 30s. Um, far below jobs, as you can see. But if you look at newspaper announcement, uh, announcements for cars and real estate, they're around the 50 euro range, actually quite consistently across the broad, across the countries. So here we have a perfect example why industry expertise matters. And you cannot get it from desktop research. You do need to have relationships and speak to people who tell you what the result is. Because unless you are a customer, you won't actually find out what the average weighted price across the sales are. So that's a picture for recruiting. Now, we look at this on a country level. Here, fortunately for once, we saw some confirmation on what we were expecting before. Italy and Spain is lagging behind the larger countries, uh, larger in terms of price. Uh, France is here clearly high, Germany is high, the UK is a bit lower, but the only reason they're a little bit lower is because our sample size was not that meaningful, monster. And I think the head of Europe is in the room. They wouldn't give us the price list for the UK. I would argue that the UK is probably the highest market, but uh, we don't have the evidence. So this is the price ranges, and the red is the, it's called the unique visitor weighted average price. How sophisticated. Um, here we look at the relation between online and offline. And I think there are a few interesting observations. Uh, one is that online is much more expensive in France than it is France offline, which means that finally, people are recognizing that online should be compensated for delivering more leads than newspapers. Uh, in other countries, it's more balanced, like Germany, or the Netherlands, the Netherlands has a very strong newspaper market. And now to the second observation, the UK. Now, I believe the online is not representative because our sample size is not right. But what I'm interested in, and that information I believe is correct, is the red bar of the UK. Here we have a very small number. What is it telling us? Well, it's telling us that the market adjusted not only on the online side, it increased price by delivering more leads over the years. It also shows us that newspapers have adapted or forced to reduce price to fill the space they have. We find this extremely interesting. The third observation, back to Italy and Spain, they're lagging behind on online pricing. Now we come to the last page and uh, we forgot by mistake to put 2005, but I can tell you 2005 was half of 2006. There was a famous price increase by Immobilien Scout, which is the German leading real estate platform in 2006. It was June 2006, um, I remember. They doubled prices. And Immoscout has, I believe, 20. 8,000 customers. That's pretty much all the meaningful real estate agents in Germany. Back to the 98% rule. They're all on there. There's, in fact, a, a very famous uh, real estate chain. The, the owner is here. He told me they spent half a million with uh, Immobilien Scout per year. So 2005 pricing was around 1.7 euros and they doubled it to around uh, 3.6, 3.7. You know what the churn was out of these 28,000 customers when they doubled prices in 2006? 14. 14 real estate agents dropped. 
out of 28,000. So some people are saying, oh, that's awesome. I would say as a banker, you should have tripled your prices because that's a very unhealthy, too low churn. Now, Scout has been raising prices, and this data we got from searches on the internet, and we are now at around the 10 euros per ad, and that's average across all the packages. Now, when we look at M&A and LBOs and all the opportunities in internet finance, we're trying to isolate those issues, and I think Scout is a perfect example that price is an important driver. And if you think what happened from 2005 to 2010, rising price almost yeah, six times from 1.7 euros in 2005 up to 10 euros, we just learned one thing. Internet is sticky and it's going to be around for a long time. It's my little intro speech and now I welcome the panel to come uh, to the stage, please.